this is how you do an unboxing. Open it up, take out the crap, pull it open, throw away the crap, pull it open, throw away more crap, throw away the crap, throw away the crap. throw away the crap that's it Casio G-Shock this is the octagonal case uh, it's the upgrade basically from the G-Shock square which came out in like 1983 so that's why I got this watch it's not complicated it's very straightforward it's monochromatic comes with a stupid tag on it see that throw it out what's this Some stupid wrapping throw it out all right there you go g-shock all right I like it it's laid out like a pro track it's got big hunking indices a very readable dial it's got the days of the day days of the week here and then down here it has your screen uh, the screen readout is pretty decent I mean you can see what's going on there uh, the functioning of the watch is pretty straightforward it's just like your typical G-Shock it's got what five alarms it's got a countdown timer it's got a chronograph function uh, with split time it has your mechanical time and then it gives you world times also but the light will backlight the screen and there's also an LED light right here that lights up your indices uh, one of the reasons why this watch is cool is it's thin it uses uh, carbon core technology so they removed the steel from the watch and they replaced it with a carbon composite it's thinner and it wears small on the wrist right so this is my 40 40 millimeter Seiko diver and it's pretty much the same size right okay this is a 62 MAS MAS uh, re revision here by San Martin I got it it's a homage watch but I got it just because you can't really get the Seiko diver for a reasonable price so screw it um, this is the 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 second G-Shock that I purchased. It's actually the only G-Shock I own right now. Um, this is kind of a step in the right direction for Casio. Very popular watch. It was originally retailing for under ninety nine. I bought this for two hundred, and it's been less than twelve months since the watch was released. So it's picking up steam. It's coming out in different colors. However, this is the first edition of the black and white. So it comes in red, comes in gray, comes with, you know, blackout, uh, comes in a multicolor form, it comes in a camo form, it comes in green and black. You can quick release the straps, okay? You can remove the case. You can take out the carbon insert that holds the watch module. You can take off the back. You can take out the watch module. So you can effectively customize everything on this watch. You can change the handset. The indices ring is removable. So you can just pop it out the back. It's actually a ring with all these teeth stuck to it. Uh, you can upgrade the indices rings. You can change the color of the indices ring. You can change the color of the handset. You can change the, the color of the outer case. You can buy a Casio upgrade for it and upgrade it into a steel AP Royal Oak which I'm not really into, um, you can change the straps. So everything is completely customizable on this watch. You know, you could take the green insert, put it with the red indices, you could put purple hands on there, you could put the gray case on the outside, you could give it blue straps, you could do whatever you want with this. Extremely light. Uh, 200 meters water resistant, extremely shock resistant. The bottom line is that the G-Shock 
is the most used watch in the outdoor industry. And that includes by soldiers and astronauts. So, you know, aside from all these other companies saying that they've got the most durable watch, um, this is affordable and reliable and highly appreciated among professionals in extreme environments like space and war. So I definitely recommend this. I would still buy it. I'd buy it even between $200 and $300. And the reason is, is that it's the first edition of the new Casio Square. This is the octagonal version of the Casio Square. All right. It has the exact same design features as the Casio Square. You put this up against the Casio Square, you're going to see what I mean. But the nice thing is, is that it has adopted the analog. And the analog has been with Casio since like the mid 80s. They've been making analog G-Shocks. So Casio has melded the digital component with the analog component. There's a lot of other reviews on this watch. I didn't want to take too much time here. Um, I got a seven and three quarter inch wrist. I highly recommend you do your research. Check out the other reviews online. Um, but there you go. G-Shock Seiko 62 MAS. Okay, it's not a big watch. This is not a big watch. This is a seven and three quarter inch wrist here. So it's not a big watch. I'll try and give you some close up here. Let's see how close we can get with this. We'll start with the case back. Okay, the first question is, is this a fake watch? Okay, well typically the, the case backs, if this was fake, the case back would not be printed so well. The other thing is that this bubble relief is much taller on a fake Casio. Okay, the other thing is, is the G-Shock is not centered properly and is usually printed in a finer print. And the last thing is, is that the screen, okay, has more of a tint, of a beige tint to it. The lettering in the screen has more of a beige tint to it. This is a very, very sharp gray color. And these numbers, these letters over here, are not aligned in the fake on the left-hand margin, but they're aligned on the left-hand margin there. So, um, yeah, this is this is the real deal, real G-Shock. Let's see if we can get closer here. So you can see the arrow on the days of the week, the handset, and you can see the digital window just fine. I mean, yeah, it's probably a little bit challenging to read in some conditions, but I'm fine with that. And this indices ring, it actually just pops out the back. You can lift it out. So that's completely changeable. So that's it. That's the review. Casio G-Shock, highly recommend it. This is the new square. Okay, it's the most basic, attractive uh, Casio, smallest Casio G-Shock that you can find, okay, and it's, it's a collector's item, it's essentially a collector's item, you know, five years from now, they're not going to be making this watch, um, it's going to be different, this watch, with this model number on it, coming out this year, is going to be the collector's item, so if you're going to just buy one G-Shock, and you want one that doesn't look like a complete toy, or a circus act this is the one this is a professional outdoors watch it'll it'll blend in with tac tactical applications outdoor applications military applications any kind of application you want you can go anywhere with this all right it's not a ridiculous doesn't give you a ridiculous presentation so yeah this is definitely something i'm, I'm very particular about the watches i buy Right, there's a million different kinds of watches out there, and you know, I'm very careful about where I put my money. I definitely put my money on this. This is the newest, coolest thing that G Shock has come out for you know, in their basic line for a long time. Well, thanks for watching.
Hope you have a wonderful time. God bless America, red, white, and blue. This is the Owl signing off.